Hey there, uh, today's video is just going to be, well, it's going to mostly be showing like my day-to-day -day kind of routine as far as what it's like in the during these coronavirus quarantine times, uh, having my job. I'm an auditor at a CPA firm here in the Tennessee area, and uh, it's our busy season, so it never stops. So even though I'm quarantined, I'm still working my busy season hours, probably 65, 75 hours a week, thereabouts, and I've been doing that since the beginning of January. And it looks like I'm going to keep doing that through the end of April. And then it kind of not necessarily slows down, but goes back to maybe maybe about 45 to 55 hours a week, which is a standard week. So I thought I'd just show what it's like, been like for me being quarantined, but still having to work crazy, crazy hours. You know, I get up super early in the morning. I take my dogs out. I, of course, make coffee and drink tons of coffee. Uh, and then I just get to work as soon as, as early as I can get up between four or five sometimes. Uh, in the morning is what times I get up. This is what I look like first thing in the morning before coffee. My eyes feel like they're down here somewhere. I could drink a lot of coffee today. Now I sit here and work all day and all night. Little breaks. It should be fun. I needed to run to Kroger to buy a few things real fast that we needed. Kayla's been wanting to make some chocolate chip banana bread, which seems to be all the rage of uh, every, all the celebrities and bloggers and everybody are making chocolate chip banana bread during this uh, quarantine. So I'm gonna go get her some bananas real fast before the world gets too crazy hectic outside. And uh, you know, they, they're letting the elderly, elderly people go in from seven to eight. So it's about eight o'clock now, so. I should be able to sneak in and sneak out without causing too much of a ruckus. Pretty empty at 8 a.m. in Kroger. Not a lot of people. Pretty interesting. I like going at this time. Usually on the weekends it's packed with people. Look how empty it is. Looks like we're starting to get toilet paper and paper towels back in. But I wonder if these will last all day or they'll get bought up. Gotta be thankful for all the people that work in these grocery stores that are in here early in the morning restocking for everybody, but it's still getting wiped out every day. I'm still out of my coffee. God bless. It's crazy that it's been over a month since we've been doing this quarantine thing and people are still just buying out paper towels and toilet paper and all the cleaning products. Like when I got in there, they were, they were stocking the shelves uh, with some cleaning products and they actually had a few canisters of Lysol wipes. So I was able to get one of those, but um, 
Yeah, people are still coming every day and clearing this stuff out for no reason. And it's been a month. All right, here's our Kroger haul. Doing a haul video. I was able to get some paper towels. Got one canister of Clorox wipes. Got some eggs. Some much needed granola bars. Got our sugar-free coffee creamer because we were out. And we got KK bananas to make some chocolate chip banana bread. She doesn't know I went to the store, so hopefully this is a little bit of a surprise for her. We gotta wait for these bananas to ripen a little bit in order to make the banana bread, but she was itching to make this over the weekend. And now we're gonna make it sometime this week. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming of me working all day. We went for our walk and I had the GoPro with me, but it wouldn't turn on. So it kind of had me worried there for a minute. So I didn't get to film anything of our walk, but we did a, a two and a half mile walk. We did on our route called a down and back where you just walk down to the end of the neighborhood and back to the house. And it's about two and a half miles. So we knocked that out today. And now I'm going to get showered up and cleaned up and back to work it is. Now that we're all washed and showered up, cleaned up, it's time to get back to work. It's about 11.30 and I've already worked a little over four and a half hours today. It's my busy time of the year, so I have to work pretty crazy hours. Um, I usually work anywhere from 10 to 15 hours a day, at least about five days a week. And then we work on Saturday mornings and to get wrapped up and finish our, our work. It, it's pretty pretty hectic schedule this time of the year. Uh, you know, being an auditor at an accounting firm, you know, we work just crazy hours and do a new audit every week, pretty much by myself. There you go. So I got to get to 10 to 12 probably today. So that's what my day, the rest of the day is going to be. Part of my routine is I, you know, I get up, I get in here as early as I can, but also do uh, try to do some push-ups and sit-ups throughout the day to try and break up the monotony of just sitting still all day and just staring at these computer screens. Luckily, Kayla's been furloughed. Um, well, I say luckily, but you know, like she's she's home too with me. So, you know, she's a good distraction here and there. And then I usually take a, a break in the morning at some point to go on our walk with her so we can get some exercise. And we do about two and a half to three and a half miles a day. Um, and then, you know, I take a, a real quick short lunch break uh, and I try to eat something kind of small and healthy. I, right now I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I start, uh, by the time I'm done eating dinner, about seven o'clock, I don't eat again till lunch the next day. So that's like a 16 hour window of where I'm not eating anything at all. I had and nothing caloric. I just drink water. And then like my coffee in the morning, I have to drink it black now no sugar and no cream really. So uh, by the time lunch comes like today in about 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to be starving for lunch. Probably going to eat a couple boiled eggs and some lunch meat, something simple and trying to do low carb kind of keto. And after that, I work all afternoon and then about 5, 5, 30, Kayla and I will um, start cooking some dinner. We'll cook a little dinner and watch a episode of a 30 minute show. We're watching Shit's Creek right now. So watch an episode of Shit's Creek while we eat dinner and then it's back upstairs for me. And I work till about nine o'clock or so, and I gotta get ready to get to bed so then I can get a decent amount of sleep, start the process all over again tomorrow. So that's kind of like my standard day, and I kind of filmed a little bit already. As you can see, it's later in the day. I've already showered and, and, and done all that, um, but it's about lunchtime, so let's go eat some lunch. Another good thing about working from home, I get to work with these two. I got two office mates, rent-free office mates. They like to come up here and hang out with me. Got my little bed and pallet area made to hang out and keep me company during the day. So my sweet puppies. This is Lulabelle. Lulabelle. I'm Lulabelle. Are you Lulabelle? That's Lulabelle. And this one over here is Penelope. It's Penelope. I yeah, know my name. I know my name, Daddy. This is primarily what my afternoon consists of. Sitting here and clicking away, no distractions. Got a couple hours left till it's time to cook some dinner. So let's see if we can't power through and make it to then. I'm feeling the struggle right now. I am 
struggling this afternoon. I stayed up a little too late last night, but it was worth it to finish the Americans. Um, but I still had to get up super early this morning. So I am on the struggle bus. It's 3.15 in the afternoon, and I just made a half a pot of coffee. I got most of it in this one giant cup from my Disney, Disney World cup. It's the Genie from Aladdin. Oh yeah, that'll do the trick. I gotta make it through about 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight working with a little break for dinner. Um, but I'm gonna have to have this rest of this caffeine in order to make it that far, because I am struggling. I am so excited, it's five o'clock. That means it is time to take a dinner break because I'm starving and I'm tired. And I'm ready to see my wife for a few minutes. We're probably going to eat some leftover chicken from last night. A little bit of a salad and then something else, some sort of vegetable. I don't know, Caleb. Hopefully has that all planned out. So let's go eat some dinner. Do I got some sleepy office mates? They're probably hungry for dinner too. Are you sleepy? You guys have been just sitting downstairs all day and now you're finally back up here with me. Butter that toast, girl. We got some leftover chicken, some weird power blend of lentils and grains and broccoli, and some nice salads. Thanks, KK. Dinner was great, <clears throat> as you can see from what we made. I had a short time to hang out with Kayla, probably about an hour. And now it's 6.30 and I'm back at my desk to continue working until probably about 8.45, 9 o'clock. And then that's when I go to bed. Seriously, this is all my day consists of is work and eating and sleeping and that's that's about it. I did get a workout in so that's good. Well, we've reached the end of the night. It's almost 9 o'clock. I've worked uh, almost 13 hours today. Um, that's a pretty standard day during this time of the year for me. Pretty long hours but got to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. What I got to do left now is uh, my closing duties. I got to make my coffee for the morning, take the dogs out one more time. And I get in bed and watch something on YouTube, probably about 10 minute video or so, just to wind down. And I fall asleep, wake up bright and early, probably between 4 and 5, and do it all over again. That is a standard day for me in busy season.